Hey guys, it's Claire and I'm here today with Sabrina and we're going to show you how to create a really easy smoky eye and flawless face and a neutral lip for going out. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, so first we're going to apply a primer to Sabrina. And this primer is just going to keep the eyeshadow lasting all day long and bring out those eyeshadow colors. And I'm using one by Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So just apply it from the lid and up to the brow bone and then just a little bit underneath. Next I'm going to take a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and this is going to be a base for us. I'm just going to apply that lightly to her lid. It's going to be nice and messy and we'll smudge it out later. And with a blending brush, I'm just going to take it and just buff out that harsh black line. Bring it up into her lid. Okay, now that we have our black base down, we're going to take a warm brown color that's a little darker than her skin tone. With a nice fluffy brush, and I'm just going to put that right into the crease. Right above where we put that black down. You just want to go back and forth doing small circles so you get a nice buffed out look. The color I'm using is Cork by MAC. Now I'm going to take a shimmery brown color and this is Mulch by MAC and a flat shader brush. I'm just going to load up the brush. I'm just going to pack this on her lid. You want to do it in a packing motion so that all the color is placed exactly where you want it. don't want to swipe, so just pat it. So now since we used the shimmer, I'm going to go in with another matte dark brown with a blending brush. I'm just going to define her outer V here by just placing the color against the lower lash line here. And bring it up into her crease. This is going to start making that smoky effect. With a smaller pencil brush like the MAC 219, I'm going to take that matte brown again and have her look up. I'm just going to start smoking out the lower lash line here by going on the outer corner. And you want the most color on the outer corner and just taper it in as you go to the inner corner. Next I'm going to take a black coal liner. This is Feline. It's really nice for smudging, so I'm going to put this on the water line. Just open your eyes. And just putting your eyes together, that'll get the black liner on the bottom up to the upper lash line. So if you can just close your eyes pretty tight. There you go. And put another layer on. Just again, go back with that brown shadow. And just go right on the outside of that black. Next, I'm going to take my eyelash curler. And this is by Shu Amura. And I'm just going to curl the lashes. So just look right here. This is going to give the look an extra flare. Just hold it for three seconds and let go. The other eye. Next we're going to do the mascara and I'm going to be using L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. A nice inky black to finish off the eyes. So just close. You want to start at the root of the lashes and just wiggle up. So you get each individual eyelash. Next I'm going to take L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Nude Beige. This is her skin tone. So I'm going to take that with a stippling brush. I'm just going to dab it in the foundation. I'm going to start stippling it on her face. Just go in circles and eventually just start to buff it into the skin. Starting at the cheeks. The stippling effect gives it a nice airbrush look. It's a very light application. Just 
You want to bring it down a little bit to the neck because you want to keep it all the same tone. Now I'm going to take a light concealer just to put under Sabrina's eyes to kind of clean up that fallout we got from the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to put this with the fluffy brush. Place it underneath her eyes. Next I'm going to take a pressed powder and this is Neutrogena's pressed powder in light to medium 30. I'm going to take a Kabuki brush and I'm just going to set everything we just did so it all stays in place. You want to set a liquid with the powder so that it just doesn't move and when you sweat everything will just stay long lasting. Use a little bit of bronzer with a bit of a shimmer. This is NARS and Laguna. I'm going to hit where the sun would naturally hit so I'm going to go on the temples. right here on the cheeks. Then I'm just going to add another product by NARS. This is Orgasm and I'm going to put this on apples of her cheeks. Just smile. Just focus it right there on the apples. Nice pink color. Okay, this is Subculture Lip Liner by MAC, and it's just a really nice nude pink color that can go with a lot of lipsticks. So I'm just going to place this on her natural lip line. And when you're applying lip liner, it's good to fill in the lips to act as a base for your lipstick. It'll make your lipstick last a lot longer, and the color will stand out a lot more. So the new lip I'm going to be using is Blankety by MAC. It's an amplified lipstick, so it's going to have a nice sheen to it. I'm just going to apply it to the center of her lip to start. Go outwards. And just smack. Now to finish off the look, I'm just going to put a nice pink nude lip gloss, and this is by Victoria's Secret, and I'm just going to put that right on top of what we just did. 